When I run a country in EU4, I have three jobs available for my citizens. Frontline infantry, back row cannons, and whatever happens in the workshops. Look, I'll be honest, I don't really know what's going on inside them. I, like, show up in a glass field. I build a large building, and you know what? Suddenly, cows just start coming out of it. I've just learned to not ask questions anymore. However, one thing I do want to ask is that, do I really need to pay my employees? I don't think the workshop staff get paid exactly. I mean, I certainly don't pay them myself. But the first two jobs, infantry and cannons, do unfortunately charge me a wage each month. Is there a way I can get that payment down to zero? Uh, no, it turns out that, uh, and this isn't mentioned on the wiki or pretty much anywhere, but in, from personal testing, land maintenance modifier is capped at 90%. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next video. Okay, fine. I'll settle for a 90% discount. It's hard enough as it is. Now, before we get into it, disclaimers. We'll be playing standard setup Iron Man, so no custom nations, so those are basically cheating anyway. And this setup we're going to be going here is not going to be the only setup. There are going to be other possible ways of achieving this, but this is just going to be one of the ways expressed here. With those disclaimers out of the way, uh, let's get into it. We need to begin with any Native American tribe that is capable of reforming their government. This means that, for example, someone here, such as the, I'm not pronouncing that, or the foxes, or whatever, is able to do that as a migration North American tribe, for example. But someone such as the Aztecs, that have their own government reform mechanics, or the Inca, that also have a, their own government reform mechanics, will not be suitable. So basically, pick an Native American. For our demonstration today, we'll be selecting the Caddo. If you know, you know. Now that we are into the Caddo, the first thing we will need to do, uh, apart from trying to survive as an Native American, of course, is get to Admin Technology 5 without reforming in our government in any fancy ways, and getting ourselves our first idea group, Native Ideas. For the purposes of demonstrations, all idea groups have now been opened with me using the Tech32 console command. Now, with that out of the way, let's select the first idea group, Native Ideas. With Native Ideas completed, we can now move on to the next step. You should have a bit of government reform progress saved up, and that's an understatement. As we head over here, there's a couple things we'll need to do. You can still do this as the Caddo, but this is probably a good time to mention. It's probably better to do it as someone who hasn't actually got the Settle Down reform, as we need to flip out of it. Flipping out of this reform will give us a stab hit. I will be taking Warband here for the purpose of demonstration. At Tier 5, we need to become a Horde. Now that we've become a Horde, back to our idea groups. We will now take Administrative, we will now take Horde Ideas. This concludes the idea groups that require specific government conditions to be met before taking them. As such, I will now go over the rest of the idea groups we need to take, but these can be taken in any order. The next idea group is Economic, Defensive, Infrastructure, and Quantity. Now, let's quickly go over the policies we'll be taking. In the Administrative section, we will take Administration of Sacred Lands, giving us minus 10% dev cost and minus 10 land maintenance modifier, as well as Agricultural Cultivation, giving us plus 10% land force limit and minus 5 land maintenance modifier. In the Military section, We'll be taking the Gentile Conquest Act, giving us another minus 10 land maintenance modifier and some pretty useless global monthly devastation at this point. And of course, we'll be concluding with the Provincial Taxation System, giving us a further minus 5% land maintenance modifier as well as some manpower recovery speed. And at this point, we've achieved 45% of land maintenance modifier. We're halfway there, and even though we've had to take 7 out of the 8 idea groups, I'll be honest, it doesn't get easier from here. If anything, you probably shouldn't be AFK this time and get it ready for the next steps. We need to make our way over to Northern Germany, Prussia more specifically, and arrive on the continent. After making our way over here, I'm assuming that at least Protestant will be enabled. If you somehow manage to make your way over to Northern Germany before Protestants have spawned, I'm seriously impressed. Either way, flip either Protestant or Reformed. You most likely see where this is going now. We need to change our primary culture to Prussian. There's the button we need to press, and there we go, we've changed our primary culture to Prussian, and we are of course Protestant. This means that the reform into Prussia decision is now available. However, we need to stop being a nomadic nation. This is of course achieved by taking some reforms and reforming out of being a nomadic nation. Here we shall take the reform into a monarchy reform. With that established, we will now reform into Prussia. Our heritage is maintained by the fact that the new traditions and ambitions event has the old native art. I would recommend taking Prussian ideas, but technically that is not necessary if you really want to show off for the run. The following steps are not necessary, just suggestions. I would suggest the General War Commissariat, I cannot pronounce that, 
as this will give us access to one of the early Prussian militarization society 0.05, offsetting the minus 0.1 death passive decay, as well as taking war economy at tier 8, despite Locke and Proviso's death cost sitting right there, as this will give us a 50% war taxes cost, which, for the burst of the strong, will have to be running pretty constantly. Lastly, I would also suggest a free policy from the last policy, since again, it will save you a monthly mill and an. Next, achieve full militarization. I'm also going to assume at this point you probably have access to enough money to upgrade this monument, and the mission of the balance of power is probably one of the more doable things in this run, which will give you access to another 0.05 militarization of state, 0.07 for the early Prussian militarization in this case, allowing to completely offset the 0.0 the 0.1 decay, as this will combine into 0.12 in terms of your monthly gain, allowing you to maintain full militarizations as long as you're not over governing capacity permanently, giving you another land maintenance modifier minus 20%. Now, as we can see, our land maintenance modifier is at minus 65%. Two final steps remain. Finally, we'll acquire a land maintenance modifier minus 10% advisor. Yes, this took me until the 1st of May of 1545 to get. And the absolute final step is to procure war taxes. Unfortunately, they're not going to be free, they are going to cost us one a month at war until cancelled. This does have, of course, the main, main drawback that we do need to be at war for those war taxes to be active. And furthermore, they still do cost us one mill point. If that is too unacceptable for you, make a quick pit stop in Mushashi. Here, if you accept a Japanese culture, namely the one in the province, you'll be able to have access to the Sankin Kotai Palaces, now that pronunciation, which gives you a further 100% war taxes cost reduction. And just like that, we'll achieve 90% land maintenance reduction when we are at war with anyone and 75% passively. And that 90% of course being the cap. Now do make sure you get no inflation at this point. Uh, if you do have a, insist on having inflation, the Junkers estate, when they are at above 60 loyalty and above 60 influence, will provide another minus 10% land maintenance modifier as a scaler to offset any inflation. And yes, correctly, not paying for your troops does immediately cause a rapid collapse of society in a country that is entirely built around not paying for their troops. Rather ironic, but no, this actually happened of course because we're a Native American and Europe. I digress. But there we go, that does conclude the video for today, 90% reduction achieved with just 7 idea groups. Of course, if we start getting other methods you can save yourself with some idea groups, there's some small shanikins you can do around it, but there it is, 90% land maintenance. For the formal record, our current army, which consists of a uh, non-trivial amount of troops. This is what? 24,000? We're not over four so no. It's currently setting us back uh, a relatively uh, pathetic amount. Namely, 0.67 ducats for 24k. Basically free, but unfortunately couldn't get there in the end due to the land maintenance modifier being capped. But there we go. I hope you very much enjoyed the video. I will see you around the next one, and a like and a subscription to the channel will be very much appreciated. With all those things out of the way, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.